Has America gone stupid? I, I got to tell you, everything we do offends somebody. Black skin bothers people. White skin bothers people. The fact that we say a, a pledge of allegiance, you know, it, it offends people. We can't hunt and kill our own food and feed our families because somebody wants to hug and pet a deer? I mean, come on. What do we come to in the United States of America? We can't burn wood because somebody wants to hug up on a tree? Let's get real. You know, I got told yesterday as a preacher that I shouldn't preach on certain things. Let me tell you something. I'm a United States of America citizen. I am born in the United States of America. I can do what I want to, say what I want to, freedom of speech. I believe in my Second Amendment. I got people telling me that as a preacher, you shouldn't carry a gun. Man, get real. I don't care if I offend people by the way I do things. I've got a God-given right, and I have a Second Amendment right. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's what's wrong with the United States of America. Everything we do offends somebody, and nobody wants to say anything because everybody's afraid of offending somebody. we got to get out of that mentality that we're worried about offending somebody. We can't pray in school because it offends somebody, yet we got Muslims bowing down on rugs every time you turn around. We're letting refugees into our country, and we got we got our own daggum Vietnam veterans and war veterans right now under bridges starving plum to death. And we don't want to say nothing because we don't want to offend somebody. Well, I got news for you. I don't care if I offend anybody because somebody needs to speak the truth. Somebody needs to speak up and speak out. And if I want to kill a deer and feed my family, that's what I'm going to do. If I want to burn a rick of wood this week, I'm going to burn a rick of wood. So all the stupidity needs to stop inside the United States of America. We need to get some backbone about us and stand up for our flag, stand up for our freedom, stand up for our faith and say, you know what, we are going to pray in school. We'll pray wherever we want to pray. We'll say the, the Pledge of Allegiance whenever we want to. And some of these men need to stand up and take some ground. Let me tell you something. It wouldn't matter what was going on in our administration if the men would get a backbone and say, you know what, this is our ground. This is what God gave us. This is what he blessed us with. And we're not going to let somebody in some White House somewhere tell us what we're going to do and how we're going to do it and make us bow down to some foreign religion because it ain't right. And preachers do need to stand up and take a take a stand and stand up for the word of God and say, you know what, kids, go into school today and pray. Go out there at that flagpole and you say the Pledge of Allegiance and who cares what they think. We have got to take a stand in the United States of America and know that God blessed us with this nation. And until we handle it the way we're supposed to, it's going to continue to get worse. But it's going to take people standing up and just saying, you know what, I'm not worried about offending somebody. You say, well, you're supposed to walk in love. I just preached on that yesterday. Yesterday, I believe in, in walking in love. I believe that we're to love our neighbor, we're to love our enemy. But it don't mean love somebody to the fact you just will walk up and take your land from you and kill you and just bow down and just be stupid. God did not expect us to be stupid individuals and bow down and let the enemy run over us. He gave us wisdom and he gave us a backbone and we need to use it. So for all the people out there that are hitting my inbox saying, well, you need to do this and you need to do that. I need to do what the Bible says, and that is have a voice and stand up. The Bible says be instant in season, out of season, do the work of an evangelist. I'm going to go across the world. I'm going to preach the gospel. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm not going to compromise. I'm not going to bow down. I'm not going to quit wearing camo because you think I should be in a suit. I'm not going to quit doing the things that I do and hunting and killing my animals to feed my family and change and try to conform and be something you want to be. And you need to quit being what everybody else wants you to be and be what God designed you to be and stand up for the United States of America and get God back in our nation and actually have a say-so. Everything in the world offends everybody. Talking about, man, you're a redneck. You shouldn't be a preacher. Well, guess what? This redneck is a preacher. He preaches the word of God. I I love the Lord. I love the United States of America. And if I want to shoot a pistol, I can do that. And I guarantee you I'll stand up for the United States of America. And if it ever calls on me, if this nation ever needs me, I'm going to be there with a pistol in one hand and a Bible in the other.